hello guys welcome to engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time now let's solve this problem it says that the end of the quick gel cable ae is attached to the pole ab which is strengthened by the guy wires ac and ad knowing that the tension in wire ad is 85 pound determine the components of the force exerted by this wire on the pole and also find the angles theta x theta y and theta z that the force forms with the coordinate axis so we are given the tension in this ad rope and we have to find the components of this tension on the pole that is at point a so let me draw that uh, force let's see this is that tension in the rope which will be acting like this from point a and the magnitude of this is 85 pounds and we have to find the components of this tension in ad and it is said that it is given that this tension is this rope is making uh, 36 degree with the axis of the pole so first of all let me draw the x and z axis at point a this line is parallel to the x-axis and this line is parallel to the z-axis so then as we know that the pole is vertical it is in the positive y direction and and this bd line this is in the xz plane this is lying on the floor so this means that the angle between the axis of the pole and this bd line is 90 degree so this means that this ABD, this is a right angle triangle. Here we have 90 degree. So if this is a right angle triangle, the let's say if this is force F, let me write this is force F. So this will be F of Y component and we will have FH component. So these are the two rectangular components. We can say that In the negative y we have f of y and from b to d we have f h this is our f h we can draw this f h here as well right so the sum of both of these this is f of y plus f h they must give us this force f so as we can see that um, 36 degree angle is made with f of y or we can say that f of y is adjacent to the angle. So this is the cos component and this one is the sine component. So we can say that f of y is 85 cos of 36 degrees. And similarly, we can say that f h is 85 sine of 36 degrees now as we can see that this fh is making 48 degrees with the positive z-axis so we can further resolve this fh into two rectangular components so we will have one component like this we will have one component like this and we will have one component like this so this component is parallel to the z-axis that is in the positive z and this is parallel to the x-axis this is in the positive x so we will have one component like this and we will have one component like this this is fz and this is fx and now fz is adjacent to the angle so this is the cos component and this is the sine component so we can say that fz is fh cos of 48 degrees and this is fh so we can say that this is 85 sine of 36 cos of 48 degrees and similarly fx is the sine component so we can say fh sine of 48 and this is 85 sine of 36 sine of 48 degrees and remember that this f of y is in the negative y so we need to put minus sign here so uh, sorry this f y is negative so we need to write this so f y is negative now we can say that f of y is minus 85 cos of 36 this gives us 
f y equals to minus 68 point eight let's say and this will be in pounds since the tension in a d wire is 85 pounds it is given in pounds similarly f z is 85 sine of 36 cos of 48 so f z is 33.4 pounds similarly fx is 37.1 pounds further we are asked to find the angles with the positive x y and z axis so the with the positive x this angle is theta x with the y axis we know the angle that is 36 degrees so this is theta y this 36 degrees theta y and then this angle theta z so now we know that uh, theta y is 36 degree and further we know that fx will be equal to f cos of theta x and theta x is the angle of this tension with the positive x axis so i have discussed this in all the videos that this theta x is the angle with the positive x axis and this is the component along the x axis so this fx will always be adjacent to theta x so this fx will always be the cos component in terms of theta x similarly fy will be the cos component in terms of theta y and similarly fz will be the cos component in terms of theta z so we can say that um, cos of theta x will be equal to fx divided by f and cos of theta y will be fy divided by f and cos of theta z will be fz divided by f now theta x will be equal to cos inverse and fx is 37.1 and the force magnitude is given which is 85 the tension in the wire is f right so that is 85 pounds similarly theta y will be cos inverse we know theta y but let's confirm it right so theta y is cos inverse f of y so f of y is minus 68.1 8 divided by 85 and similarly theta z will be fz fz is this will be cos inverse 33.4 divided by 85 so cos inverse 37.1 divided by 85 this gives us theta x which is 64 degrees or we can say 64.1 degrees similarly theta y will be minus 68.8 divided by 85 so that gives us 144 this is theta y is 144 why this is not 36 degrees i will explain it later similarly theta z is thirty three point four divided by eighty five so this is theta z is sixty six point eight six or we can say this sixty six point nine degrees so now these theta x theta y and theta z these are the angles with the positive x y and z axis and this thirty six degree is with the negative x this is the positive y this is the negative y so this theta y is the angle with the positive y axis so this angle is 144 and this whole angle is 180 degrees so now if i subtract this 144 from 180 we will get 36 so that is 180 minus 144 this gives us 36 right so this theta y is with the positive y so this with the po with the positive y it is making 144 degrees with the positive x it is making 64.1 and with the positive z it is making uh, 66.9 degrees 
So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy for the solution of such more problems.